on Netflix, I watched Que Viva Mexico, which uh, I had a whole bunch of time, and I was like, all right, I don't mind a subtitled story. What's going on with this? And I'll just read the description off of uh, IMDb, which is basically the same thing I saw on Netflix. After his grandfather's death, a man travels with his wife and his kids to his hometown where chaos ensues with his relatives over the inheritance. I'm like, chaos. That was an important word. I'm in. Let's watch chaos. it. Chaos. It's three hours. Of course I'm going to watch and read for three hours. It's going to be great. Wow. I was in a little over my head because they are going to like rural Mexico. So there is a lot of fast talking going on. So oh. I'm like catching a lot of what I'm reading and then I'm hearing some stuff. I'm like, well, that's not exactly what that translates to. What? I missed something. Got to rewind. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot going on. And that's exactly what the story is. It's a, uh, you know, uh, a nice guy and his two kids and his wife in their nice, you know, set up house. And he's having kind of some struggles in his career, not really making that happen. And we get introduced at the beginning of the movie with this element where he pops out of a dream. And it's just such a ridiculous moment where like his entire family from rural Mexico comes to Mexico City to his nice house to this nice dinner and it's a disaster. Wakes up. Oh my gosh, I thought my family was coming to visit. Yeah, well then the phone rings and he has to go down because his granddad dies, so he's got some kind of inheritance. And he doesn't really get along with his family, but let's make it a family trip. And so three hours of this family trip later, which turns into about eight months of visiting it's what? just it unravels when he's there <laughs> and you can kind of like get on board with what's happening and why the whole family is like definitely like seeing his him as like a, a rock star and he's not he's like struggling with his life and his career and he's got bills and he's got a mortgage he doesn't own the house that he's in yeah that's not how any of his family sees it so it just it just kind of unravels and unravels some more and then like the car gets caught on fire <laughs> There's, this is sounding like chaos. It is a lot of chaos, but it's a lot of fun to watch. And so I'm watching this reading as much as I can to catch up. And uh, as I'm watching this, there are multiple other family members and story characters that come into play, which I didn't realize until then I verified in the credits. The family member that's still alive that was with the grandfather is played by one character. Then he is also a triplet. So there are three characters played by the same actor. Oh, love that. Then he also has a very tall son who plays basically his security in all three of those circumstances. So okay. one, of, one of them is the mayor of a small town that's nearby. So, of course, he wants to, like, get the property. And it's his uh, chief of police that is his son. Then the family that he goes down to visit, it's the son that's right there with him helping him run that little family area. That there, It's like basically an old dead mine. And that's kind of the premise of the whole movie is that this inheritance is a dead family mind that they've never been able to find the gold on. And it's just been this quagmire that has ruined this whole family. They all think that they can figure it out. Well, that three hour long movie is essentially he falls into the exact same trap that everyone in his family falls into. Sure. And unfortunately for them, they finally give up on it as a family. And, you know, he is kind of this, the actual salvation for the whole family. It's just really, really terrible ending overall. It doesn't work out for anybody. Oh, no. <laughs> so it was an enjoyable three hours of reading. That's what I have to say about Que Viva Mexico on Netflix. And I will go ahead and list the son who comes down, or the grandson who comes down for the inheritance. It's played by Alfonso Herrera. And he's fantastic. He holds his composure for 85% of the movie. Oh, okay. It's really well done. <laughs> And you don't believe that he would have held his composure with that family for that long. And his wife is played by Anna de Reguera. She's also fantastic, but, you know, is playing his wife and wants things from him and wants him to be successful and do things. So it all feeds into this eventual situation. He ends up supporting his whole family, which is not how he planned on going down for this inheritance. He basically re-inherits his whole family. <laughs> that was the inheritance. Yeah. Surprise! 